last night I took a plane Transatlantic It was long Now I'm scoffing In Kingston Town Well, just outside Kingston But you get the idea Also, yeah, I'm fully aware of the fact that the original version of that song was written by UB40 about Kingston in Jamaica, not Canada, but it's a fat jam. So I thought I'd use that scar punk version of it. Anyway, let's get inside. I spoke to the owner, I think the owner, yeah. uh, about doing your, uh, you have a burger challenge? Yeah, the burger challenge, breakfast challenge. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's what I'm here for. There's a breakfast challenge too. Plenty of attempts have been made so far. That guy in the middle looks a little bit like Josh Brolin. Thanos. I think Thanos could finish this thing. Think I've got it in me? Look, I mean, look at me. What do you reckon? The guy who did my breakfast challenge. Oh. Than you. This guy. Yeah, that guy actually did the breakfast, yeah. Oh, he did, did he? I think I almost recognize that face. I'm not sure from where. I think I'm, I'm probably in line with most of these barbecue rules. Apart from maybe that penultimate one there, moaning while eating. I, I do that quite a lot. God damn, that is a big burger. There you go, burger buddy. How, how long do you get to finish? 30 minutes. You get 30 minutes to finish, I'll try. Everybody eats gravy around here. The only place I know that loves gravy more than Canada is Yorkshire. We pretty much take baths in, in gravy in Yorkshire. <laughs> so today I'm at a place called Rock Sands. Oh, it's Roxanne's Place. A place called Roxanne's Place. And it is in, don't tell me, Shannonville? Yes. I got it right. And I'm taking on the burger challenge. Does it have a special name or just the challenge burger? Just the challenge burger. And one person has defeated it so far, right? Yep. How many people have attempted? 38. 38 people. And it, how much does it cost? It's 40 if you don't eat it. 40 if you don't eat it. And if you do eat it, it's free. It's free. And you get a spot on the Wall of Fame. Yep. Cool. Think I could do this? <laughs> I ain't saying how it's done. Three, two, one, go. That was great. That was really dramatic. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode and yet another journey of gastronomic conquest. We're back in Ryan Gosling country. You guessed it, Canada. <clears throat> I feel I should warn you. This is probably going to be really messy. Thank you. Yeah, she really did give me a lot of napkins. Which shouldn't be a surprise, really. Canadians are known for higher than average levels of politeness. And it's almost actually one precise Earth orbit of the sun since I was last here. And it feels good to be back. That figure isn't going to last long, though, let me tell you. Gird up your loins. This one is not as simple as it might first appear. It's sneaky. The, the, the chips kind of create a bit of a nest. <coughs> Which which keeps the uh, the meat in the middle quite warm. That's smart because a lot of the time when you get like a tall burger, it falls over instantly, which is terrible for taking pictures. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat some of the chips. I think. Oh yeah, time to get dangerous. We're deviating from custom a bit here, but that meat is way too hot to eat, so we're gonna get stuck into this wreath of taters instead. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, all it took was a few mouthfuls of those chips to realise this one is not going to be a prance on the old hockey rink, no siree. God only knows how many pounds of fries there are here, but they are thick with three C's. Not to mention those burger patties are so dense you could probably play ice hockey with them actually. They did taste good though, thoroughly enjoyed the seasoning on there, not to mention the cheese. That did help quite a bit. Do you have uh, fish and chip shops here? Do you have such a thing? Sells at, is it shops that sell like fish and chips? Mm -hmm. Yeah? These are like, um, they're like fish and chip shop chips back home. <laughs> he doesn't care. This young whippersnapper is not one to be regaled by stories of fish and chips. You know what I mean though. Chip shop chips are far superior to french fries and they were not unpleasant. I just wasn't too enthusiastic about eating like five pounds of them. <laughs> I can't tell where the chips start and the, the the burger begins. <laughs> yeah, thanks mate. It was a rhetorical statement, but thanks for clarifying. I appreciate it. 
This is getting really hard now, incidentally. You might be able to tell by the, the grimace on my face. And uh, there's still quite a lot to be eaten. We've got 20 minutes left, though. There should be enough time, right? I think. Hopefully. <laughs> it's too hot to eat like this today. <laughs> He says while dipping a burger into a refreshing bowl of piping hot gravy. <laughs> this was actually the owner's suggestion, and by God, I was thankful for it. This uh, really helped it down. <sighs> yeah, the thing is, at this point, I'm not entirely sure I do got this, but we're gonna keep on pushing. Might be tactical diet coke time soon. Can't start this trip off with a, a loss now. That would be poor form. And uh, we're heading further east after this, up to uh, Ottawa, Montreal, Quebec, I think, that kind of region. Possibly via the hospital, we'll see. <laughs> Is that the last of the burger? I think it could be. <laughs> so I'm halfway. halfway. Would you say I'm halfway done? What do you reckon? Oh, I'd say you're more than halfway. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't really know if I am. I've mashed all the chips together so much, it's hard to compare with what it looked like at the start. But I don't think there's another way to do it. 30 minutes is not a lot of time. Certainly not enough to eat these things all nice and dainty-like. <sighs> I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying. Huh? There's a lot of meat. There's more meat than it looks like on the picture, you know? Mm -hmm. And. I heck of a lot of fries as well. Chips? They're way too fat to be fries. And I don't seem to have made much of a dent in them over the last, what, 10 minutes or so? Ooh. How you feeling? <laughs> Brother, this one is hard. Could I possibly get um, a Diet Coke or, or Diet Pepsi? Just anything sweet and fizzy? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I tell you, I'm absolutely gagging for this coke now. I strategically try to leave it as long as possible before drafting in a fizzy beverage, but we are in dire need of it now. How long have I got left? Seven and a half minutes. Oh. So close, so close. I need to, I need to burp a little bit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm allowed to purple, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to have to get some more If I do, it's going in your direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's really more like mashed potato now. I see that. <laughs> if I tried to eat them individually, I think it would have taken me too long. Yeah, we got there in the end, though. Stuff like that really shouldn't fit in a body of this size, you know? <laughs> no chip one cool here. <laughs> oh, oh man. That was way harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> way harder. So that's like 39 people have tried it now, and two were on the wall of fame. Yep. <sighs> now we're gonna be able to move. That's the next question. You might have to give me like, give me a while. <laughs> Challenge complete. <laughs> it's great to meet you, meet you all. I'll see you next time. <laughs> that was so much harder than it looks. <laughs> yeah, that came out of nowhere. <clears throat> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, God, that hurt.